Not gonna lie, I got I just got totally bored, so I'm just gonna start fucking refinishing Portal 2. Wrong button. Is it really a speedrun attempt? But well, I'm just gonna try and do this as fast as I possibly can. Though that won't be fast at all. Suspension for eight days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. The controls feel wacky. Look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. Just close enough. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Get copyright for classical music. Good. Now, please return to your bed. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. Hello? Anyone in there? Ah! Ah! Oh, God. You look that is so many subtitles. Good, actually. Are you okay? Are, are you? Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. I hope we're just waiting to turn off the subtitles. Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. Indented into the fucking bed. You all right down there? Can you hear me? Hello? Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do, if you do feel alarmed, try to- I just quickly turn the subtitles off. That shit's terrible. <laughs> Hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me, just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just, you just jumped, but never mind. Say apple, apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Now this will go fine, hey, look, and... I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. Can't tell us the floor of the abyss. What are you doing down there? You still holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on! This is a bit tricky! Am I, like, is this stasis? Like, I, I think I've been asleep for longer than the longest human lifespan. Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? Am I got enough space? Uh, just, just got to get through here. Okay, I just got to concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, so now I hit that one. I hit that one. I think you're, kidding, you're defiling the corpses. Okay, listen. We should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. Alright? Not dead. Okay. Almost there. In terms of alive, the they're of still probably alive. One of the old testing tracks. A piece I mean, the maggots in inside there, of them are long dead. Out of here. <laughs> as well I, as I there. <laughs> anything. Get ready. Oh, fuck it, they are dead. Good news. 
Let's see, this was inspired by Miley Cyrus. I came in like a wrecking ball. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes, not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. I'll be honest, you good luck! Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open and emergency testing will begin in three. He's probably gonna lift that really high up. One. Oh no, that shit's just really small. Hey. I just wanna see myself real quick. Testing caused this emergency. Don't worry, the odds of this happening twice are very slim. You have just passed through an aperture science material emancipation drill, which vaporizes most aperture science equipment that touches it. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Oh, you're bleeding out your fucking brain. <laughs> Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. This game is all think what's going to happen with AI and shit. They're going to turn against us and start fucking gassing us out. A fucking deadly if neurotoxin. Is governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us. Hey, hey, you made it. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it though. Oh! Do we just sleep with long full boots on? That'd be terrible for your fucking feet. Really, the voice lines are just fucking funny as shit. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots to share. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. <laughs> Grievance against being disrespected by AI. <laughs> the fuck you gonna do? He's just gonna fucking shoot you. <laughs> this next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death. Very dangerous. In three, two, one. Can the jazz please stop? <laughs> Oh so good. Fuck. <laughs> Just 
trying to fucking like slightly speed run through the game, I, I can't Great work. fucking throw a box correctly. Any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Yeah, this ain't a speed run, this is just me trying to do as fucking quick as shit. Cause I know I'm gonna get stuck on one singular puzzle for a couple of hours. Welcome to Apple Science, the only thing where I invent fucking sexualized cubes. Objects from space. Please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Like that. Okay, so. Ah, shit. Okay, I just need a session. So where's the where's the main portal right now? It's there. So I've got to stop it with this thing, but I've got to do it at a certain level. It's so like. I got I got a cube. <laughs> Okay, so I need another cube, which means I gotta do this, which I gotta. Well, that was easy. There's definitely some way just to use a singular cube on this. I forgot I need to place the cube down. Well done. The enrichment center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. Could I tend to use the portal gun to Doctor Strange my way and just chomp someone in half by deactivating a portal while someone's in it? This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. <laughs> to also figure this apply in the future. I failed that one. Can I even get in there? Well, obviously fucking nuts. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. So I've got to bring this thing over there. He's just jumping off this one. Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. To ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Hey! Oi, oi! I'm up here! Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun! Oh, the... Do you know what? It just goes to show people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Okay, listen, let me... lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me... Never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail, or I would die. But we're out of options here, so get ready to catch me, all right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? One. Two. Three! That's high. It's, w it's too high, isn't it, really, that? 
All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One. Catch me, catch me. Ow. Ow. I am not dead. I'm not dead. <laughs> I just <laughs> put him. Stick on the wall over there. Yeah, what? and I'll show you How the fuck does that? You'll be impressed by um. Well, the laws of physics um, don't work in the future. <laughs> yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Could you just turn around for a second? Alright, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. Not right open. <laughs> While your back was turned. And off we go. Look at this! No rail to tell us where to go! Can oh, I just free. drop him? We we want. Just hold on though, where are we going? Seriously. Hang on, let me just... I can't even bearings. drop him on the floor. <laughs> just follow the rail, actually. Best companion. Oh no. Yes, hello. No, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact. Whatever you do. No, thanks. We're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving. Keep moving. Imagine this game during, like, like created during th this time, like. Pony screens wouldn't exist for this. Everything would be flawless. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber. And she will probably kill us if, if she's um, awake. Okay, I'm going to leave my car. Smash him through the window. I don't want to go in there. Don't, don't go in there. She, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Like really take a selfie. Do you know who ended up? Uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not going to believe this. A human. I know. I know. I wouldn't have believed it either. Apparently, this human escaped, and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened, and then there's us escaping now. So um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. Don't touch him. Okay, down these stairs. Jump. This action. Oh, still held! Still being held. You did, that's a great job. You've applied the grip. We're all fine. That's tremendous. Ah! I just, sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah! I've just done it again. This is the main breaker room. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't, e don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod. But as soon as you look at something and it doesn't say escape pod, look at something else. Look at the next thing, all right? But don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Let there be light. That's, uh, God. I was quoting God. Oh, look at that. That's God. I was Honest. quoting God. <laughs> but probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now, escape pod, escape pod. This is moving up. Okay. Okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, makes it go faster. Fucking uh -oh. idiot. Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic. All right, stop panicking. Uh, I can, I I'm can hiding. Still stop this. Um, uh, oh, there's a, there's a password. Okay, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just hack it. Not a problem. I ain't here. A A A A A. Um. A. Fucking try B. A A A A A C. Oh, wait, did I do B? Did, did you pen? Start writing these down. Power up, complete. I don't. Okay, okay, okay. Listen. All right. New plan. Act natural. Act natural. We've done nothing wrong. Hello. Oh, it's you. You know her. It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? Uh... Oh no! No, 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 no! Oh no, 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 no! Ah! Okay, look. We both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science. You monster. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it, too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. Yeah, this game had too many loading screens, I'm gonna just say that. The 
here with a superhero landing. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old times. There it is. There. Good. You have the dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life were preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger Revenge. person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. But the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing you for the rest of your life. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. It's fucking Frankenstein's monster now. It's fucking GLaDOS's monster. <laughs> What's up, guys? Cave Johnson. I have been revived. <laughs> Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. I wonder what the fastest speed run for this is. Now I'm much poor fucking two now. <laughs> this next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. Just a Wheatley there. Just jump. Well done. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. We weren't even testing for that. I'll slowly turn into a fucking AI after this. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, Science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Abandon you on a doorstep. I'm guessing I'm not supposed to actually uh, go down here for the test. This is an easter egg. Where, where, where the fuck's the other cube? Oh, Where's the hole? Fuck. Congratulations. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. Fucking call me fat. Which 
try to bring these too fast and have an opportunity to fucking talk. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this. Slow? Facility. Fuck that, I must just fell into war. I'm stuck in the ground. <laughs> No fucking clue what I'm doing, but something. Okay, so if I do this, I think I accomplished nothing but besides fucking myself over. I, I, I don't think I can get that. Yeah, I'm fucked. Actually, no, I'm not fucked, technically. It's all about fucking speed, motherfuckers. <laughs> But if I put it at the front, I don't think I could jump to that. Huh. Fuck. Actually, that's pretty close. Like I said, this isn't an actual speedrun, this is just trying to do this as fast as I can. Okay, so... I think I made it have fucked up even more. Yeah, what am I supposed to be doing? <laughs> Wait, wh why do I need the cube again? Wait, why am I... Just... Am I supposed to be just taking... I could've just... Am I a fucking idiot? I'll give you credit. I'm a fucking I idiot. Listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Thanks, GLaDOS. <laughs> this next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faith Plate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Yeah, call cool, it. Yeah. First try. Kobe. Nope. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room. Freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I don't life. think that's how oxygen works. that was interesting. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faith plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Huh. Oh, good on you, GLaDOS. <laughs> Oh, sorry. 
sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers, so sometimes there's still trash in them. Standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. You don't have to test with the garbage. It's garbage. How do I drop? Ah, oh, this is from right here. Okay, drop that in there. Drop there. Just throw that on top of the button and run to the door and hopefully it doesn't bounce off. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? I'm sorry, I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. Oh. Did I accidentally fizzle that before you could Bitch. complete the test? I'm sorry. Go ahead and grab another one. And this one's gonna fizz up again. Oh, no. I fizzled that one too. Oh well. We have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. That's a companion one. I got the love hearts and shit. I'm re grabbing my friend. <laughs> That's definitely too fucking far. I missed. I just like jump up here and I just. No! I want to bring my friend! I am bringing my friend and nothing's gonna stop me. How the hell do I get the same height with more momentum? That doesn't make sense. Oh, turns out I can't keep my friend. Just unlike fucking <laughs> Yaris, but I can't just f fly up the wall. <laughs> it's like I just can't grab this. Like, please. Bitch. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. You can try to take it, I just don't know how to. This next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. It's one of the tests where she just speaks super fucking fast. Oh, the turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. 
Let me give you the fast version. And I'll be talking to myself, then I can talk to you as soon as I can. There. If you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. Banging his head against the wall, basically. Is this where he's gonna call me fat? Well, I'm back. The aerial faith plate in here is sending a distress signal. You broke it, didn't you? There. Try it now. What happened, right? I was just lying there. You thought I was done. Oops. Mm, this plate must not be calibrated to someone of your. Generousness. I'll add a few zeros to the maximum weight. You look great, by the way. Very healthy. Try it now. You seem to have defeated its load-bearing capacity. Well done. I'll just lower the ceiling. I have to do that now, but uh. I place this one here, then I gotta go jump back down here. I think that's the, it's the right one. I forgot I pressed the button. I probably could just use the momentum from there. Keep doing steps too early. So I go through here now. Look at you, sailing through the air majestically, like an eagle, piloting a blimp. Like an eagle piloting a blimp. <laughs> Cause like they can't fucking fly by themselves, <laughs> definitely. Enjoy this next test. I'm going to go to the surface. It's a beautiful day out. Yesterday I saw a deer. If you solve this next test, maybe I'll let you ride an elevator all the way up to the break room. And I'll tell you about the time I saw a deer again. Just take a drink break. I was talking to study this as well. Now, where does this go? Ow. Fuck, I need to go up there.
Guess I just gotta do it like this. My physics teacher should just play this on the fucking screen. Probably have me more interested in this shit. Fucking hell! I didn't think that one through. <laughs> So you're gonna get affected by lasers if you're, well, falling. So I'm just gonna drop on this thing. Fuck is that noise? So I gotta get that through there, I gotta go through here, I'll put this. Is there another laser anywhere, or is that just only one? I've always got to get up here. I've got to shoot. I would use this cube alone and use the other cube to thing. So I've just got to redirect this at. Yeah, right here. Okay, remember, use the orange portal. Majestic, like a pigeon. I didn't see the deer today. I did see some humans. But with you here, I've got more test subjects than I'll ever need. So humanity's probably been wiped out like years ago before this game even fucking thinks of fucking reviving you. Humanity died halfway for our sleep. These bridges are made from natural light that I pump in from the surface. If you rubbed your cheek on one, it would be like standing outside with the sun shining on your face. It would also set your hair on fire, so don't actually do it. It's just a secret room. anything in here to do. <laughs> I was about to shoot the wrong pool. Had to think for a minute. Fuck. Okay, how do I not remove that portal down there and get over there still? I'm in a fucking predicament. Click that, but if I go down there, it'll just drop it instantly. I can't get there in time. But if I remove the blue portal, I get removed portals. That shit. Fuck. I just how I drop this. Fuck, I'm gonna capture that. Oh, it's a constant fucking cycle. God damn it. I 
IQ is lower than the level of fucking levels in this game. I show how fucking stupid I am. I don't even know how many levels we have in this game. I could have just used a portal to travel across this. You're a predator, and these tests are your prey. Speaking of which, I was researching sharks for an upcoming test. Do you know who else murders people who are only trying to help them? Did you guess sharks? Because that's wrong. The correct answer is nobody. Nobody but you is that pointlessly cruel. Good news. I figured out what to do with all the money I save recycling your one room full of air. When you die, I'm going to laminate your skeleton and pose you in the lobby. That way future generations can learn from you how not to have your unfortunate bone structure. Perfect. The door's malfunction. Huh. I guess somebody's going to have to repair that too. No, don't get up. I'll be right back. Don't touch anything. Hey! Hey! Up here! I found some bird eggs up here. Just dropped them into the door mechanism. Shut it right down. I ah! Bird! 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 Fuck is he? Okay. That's probably the bird in it that laid the eggs. You're livid. Okay, look, the point is, we're gonna break out of here, alright? Very soon, I promise, I promise. I just have to figure out how to break us out of here. Here she comes. Keep te just keep testing. Remember, you never saw me. Never saw me. I went and spoke with the door mainframe. Let's just say he won't be, well, living anymore. Anyway, back to testing. Hmm, <laughs> I forgot. Go through here, blue portal us through there. Well done. In fact, you did so well. I'm going to note this on your file in the commendation section. Oh, there's lots of room here. Did well. Enough. <laughs> did, did well. That's enough. So you see on your CV that you did well at one of the aperture science tests. How you describe this next you test did well? Turrets. You remember them, right? They're the pale spherical things that are full of bullets. Oh wait, that's you in five seconds. Good luck. These things shoot. Oh, these things also shoot the bullet casings. Friendly fire! Friendly fire! Fuck! Fuck! Fuck that! Fuck, fuck that! Assassination. Just doing a fucking like cool take down on them. Yeah, a slight detour. Balls. Maintain a constant testing cycle. Just give me a minute. Real quick. At all hours and add adrenal vapor to your oxygen supply. 
So you may be confused about the passage of time. The point is, yesterday was your birthday. I thought you'd want to know. You're not getting the test yet? You know how I'm going to live forever, but you're going to be dead in 60 years? Well, I've been working on a belated birthday present for you. Well, more of a belated birthday medical procedure. Well, technically, it's a medical experiment. What's important is it's a present. You won't ever die. That jumpsuit you're wearing looks stupid. That's not me talking. It's right here in your file. On other people it looks fine. But right here a scientist has noted that on you it looks stupid. Well, what does a neck-bearded old engineer know about fashion? He probably... Oh, wait. Uh, uh, it's a she. Huh. I'm an idiot. The jumpsuit you're wearing looks stupid. That's not me talking. It's right here in your file. On other people it looks fine. But right here a scientist has noted that on you it looks stupid. Well, what does a neck-bearded old engineer know about fashion? He probably... Oh, wait. It's a she. Still, what does she know? Oh wait, it says she has a medical degree. In fashion. From France. From France. Oh, I hate the French. <laughs> This is probably a bad idea. I think I'm supposed to hit myself in the air. I call this maneuver death from above. <laughs> I'm gonna get stuck on this one. Oh fuck, I forgot to get shot! Well... I blame it on you. Whoever the fuck you are. Fuck, I hit the wrong one. Let's place the uh, blue portal in here. Oof, I'm a fucking idiot. Take this out, bring this in there, and place these both in here. I guess that's it then. Thanks for testing. You may as well lie down and get acclimated to the being dead position. I'm kidding. Not about you trapping yourself though. That really happened. Here. I'll lower the glass. Go on. Finish the test. This is some sympathy. <laughs> I'm going through the list of test subjects in cryogenic storage. I managed to find two with your last name. A man and a woman. So that's interesting. It's a small world. Surprise waiting for you after this next test. Telling you would spoil the surprise. So I'll just give you a hint. It involves meeting two people you haven't seen in a long time. Kill them. <laughs> Burn. Oh, I'm gonna do the other restrike. Let me just 
bring this through here. Pretty sure, like, how do I get to, how do I aim this in here? Die. Music. Let me take a copy of mug with me. Fuck this thing. Actually, I feel like it'd be better to do this this way. Dialogue. The happy birthday theme. <laughs> it says this next test was designed by one of Aperture's Nobel Prize winners. It doesn't say what the prize was for. Well, I know it wasn't for being immune to neurotoxin. Because <laughs> you fucking gassed him. Wait, what? Oh, hello, truck. How's your day been today? As you can see, I am terrible at this. What do I do from here? Does this have any relation? That brings it down. You want to play with me? Um, may I ask what console you on and, uh, well, what do you mean by that? I'm fucking blind or some shit. I'm, I'm gonna put this cube back. What am I doing? <laughs> That just to stick it to GLaDOS. So, so that does that. So I need that to go up when I'm on it, but I can't do that just by doing this. I find a way of knocking that down while standing on it. Then gotta get it put onto this thing. Just <laughs> Hey, what about if I put Ah, oh, I'm a fucking idiot, I know what to do. As soon as it drops down. <laughs> hello hello king. So if I just remove that right there, it lands on the button and turns off. 
I didn't. In fact, we're headed to your surprise right now. After all these years, I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. The surprise. Initiating surprise in three, two, one. I made it all up. Surprise. Just <laughs> sheep particles up here in the oh, sky. Come on. If it makes you feel any better, they abandoned you at birth. So I very seriously doubt they even want to see you. Oh, this is an open window. <laughs> I'm that an intelligent. Oh fuck. Okay, so I gotta get a cube, and the only way is kind of hitting the air. Is there anything across, above, below? No, nope, no way to catch them. It's a permanent turret there. I'm gonna have to deal with the entire time. So now there's one. Th there's one. I think I can do. I'll hit the laser gate, and now I'll hit so I get two of them. I I can't jump, just jump down, sadly, but portal across. Hide behind the cube. I don't think this is intended, but it was intended in the first game. Actually, wait a minute. If I just do this, it, wait, no. <laughs> no. I'm blowing up. Oh, I don't have to deal with his that little shit anymore. Guess that was intended. about that surprise. Tell you what, let's give your parents a call right now. How am I supposed to get across? The birth parents you are trying to reach do not love you. Please hang up. Where <laughs> you're trying to call do not love you. Please hang up. But impressive. Maybe they worked at the phone company. Surprise even as a functioning cellular line. Probably fucking is not just made up. Hey, how's it going? I talked my way onto the old nanobot work crew rebuilding this shop. They are really so oh. I know, Jerry. No, I'm on a break, mate. I'm on a break. And ah! Just hang in there for five more. What, Jerry? You can't fire me for that. Yes, Jerry. Or maybe your prejudiced work site should have accommodated a nanobot of my size. Thanks for the hate crime, Jer. See you in court, mate. Anyway, look, just hang in there for, for five more chambers. I fucking love Willy. <laughs> well, you know the old formula. Comedy equals tragedy plus time. And you have been asleep for a while. Well. <laughs> so I guess it's actually pretty funny when you do the math. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go from here, I'm gonna jump down somewhere. I can't just know how to jump down. Maybe no. Yeah. So I've been aiming over that. Yeah, just jump down. Fuck was that? That's something. 
I don't know what it is, but it's something. Oh, I could do that for something. So I gotta shoot the blue portal. See big brain moments. Those are few and far between. Can I get over there? Yes, I can. I just need to bring the cube. So if I just oh, wait, can this launch object? Yeah, it can launch. Up. It can launch. Fuck. It can launch objects. So I just gotta shoot the blue one when it gets into the sky. Camera off because I'm just like that. And just do the same again. Remember blue. Blue, 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 blue. They <laughs> just fucking kicked it down. Wait, can I make this jump? Please, please, please. I feel like they made that intentional. How do I get across again? I could have just took the roof crew knife. Just blow them up. Hopefully they're not a sentient AI. Hopefully there ain't no fucking robot hell. We sit now just boom, boom, blue. And we're done with that. I thought about our dilemma, and I came up with a solution that I honestly think works out best for one of both of us. And that said thing is Give me a second real quick. And I'm back. Federal regulations require me to warn you that this next test chamber is looking pretty good. That's right. The facility is completely operational again. I need to check the fuck am I supposed to be doing here? Just to hit all three of these things. What I've learned from my watching of speedrunners, I can just do a stupid maneuver, hopefully. That is not aimed that well. Gotta, just gotta mash them all together. See here, speed run strats. That's the only thing I know. <laughs> the other things I know I can't do because I fucking can't remember a single step. surprise for you after this next test. Not a fake, tragic surprise like last time. A real surprise with tragic consequences. And real tragic consequences. The good stuff. Our last bag. Part of me is going to miss it. But at the end of the day, it was just taking up space. Huh. 
What's going on? Fuck you, bitch. Hey, buddy. I'm speaking in an accent that is beyond her range of hearing. Look, Metal Ball, I can hear you. Run! I don't need to do the voice. Run! 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 Come on, I'm closing the door. Okay, quick me, Cal. We are escaping. All right, that's what's happening now. We're escaping. Uh, so you're doing great. Just keep running. Uh, quick word about the future plan. Totally escaping. We're gonna shut down her turret production line, all right? Turn off her neurotoxin and then confront her. Again, though, for the moment, run! Run, for goodness sake! The irony is you're almost at the last test. Here it is. Why don't you just do it? Trust me, it's an easier way out than whatever asinine plan your friend came up with. Oh, yeah, what? fuck How that. How stupid does she think we are? Oh. Come on, come on, come on! Huh, ah, more of a chase sequence. Okay, it's more of a chase sequence. against the wall. You're okay? Great, come on. This way, this way. Hurry! Go, 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 go. What if I haven't I could try going in there? Something's fucking happening. Something is happening. Did I die to that? Flashlight on, I would die. They told me that about everything. I mean, I, I don't even know why they bothered giving me this stuff if they didn't want me to use it. It's pointless. Man. Ooh. If you try breathing here. manually, you will die. They say that the old now breathe manually. This place went absolutely crazy. Chopped up his entire staff of robots. All of them robots. They say at night you can still. The fuck am I going? I can't see. Of their replicas. All of them functionally indistinguishable from the originals. No I've been my vision to come down here. Nobody knows what they're screaming about. Absolutely terrifying. Though obviously not paranormal in any meaningful way. Try to jump across. Let's keep moving. The factory entrance must be around here somewhere. Careful, careful. Wait, wait, careful. Let me light this jump for you. Okay, this looks dangerous. I'll hold the light steady. Oh, nicely done. But nothing bad is going to happen if I go down here. Quick, this way. Here's I don't think I'm supposed to get hit by that or live through that. In manufacturing. But uh, guess who the foreman went with? Only an exact duplicate of himself. Nepotism. Ended up giving me the worst possible job, tending to all the smelly humans. The, the um, sorry, that's uh, no, 
It's like smelly. Just, just attending to the humans. Sorry about that. That just, that just slipped out. A bit insensitive. Um, Fucking robo racism. Uh, We've got to get you out of that room. Can you reach that wall back there? Really? Oh. <laughs> oh. I'll tell you. Humans? Oh, love them. Just the way they look. It's great. And their folklore. Wonderful. They're very colourful. Right. Well. I'm gonna take this rail yeah. down the back way. See you, Bob. Good luck. This is a turret production line. Turret redemption lines active. Please do not engage with turrets heading towards redemption. Redemption? <laughs> redemption lines are not oh, the fuck, that's hell. Please exit the turret redemption line. I'm gonna spoil you for some extra dialogue. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> just, just realized mid jump. What am I fucking doing? Get fuck you. <laughs> Wrong way. the turret control Hello. center. Thank Response. you very much. Hello. See that scanner out right there, right? It's deciding which turrets to keep and which to toss. Response. And it's using that master turret there as a template. Now, if, if we pull out Hello. the template turret, Response. it'll shut down the whole production line. Right, um, hmm. I'm gonna have to hack Hello. the door so Response. that we can get at it. Technical, um, you'll need to turn around while I do this. Okay, go on, just pull that turret out. Can't say a thing, which is happening. Better open the box. Yeah, what? Face down. Face down. Well, that should do it. Template. Yeah, okay. What, what do you have there? Oh, brilliant, it's, that's brilliant. New template accepted. If we're lucky, she won't find out all her template. turrets are crap until it's too late. <laughs> Classic. Okay, keep your eye on the turret line. I'm going to go and hack the door open. Template. Response. Uh, okay, I'm about to start hacking. It's a little bit more complicated than it is. Response. Response. It should take about 10 minutes. Keep one eye on the door. Template. Response. This door's actually pretty complicated. Ah! Oh, long's the door been open? Response. I mean, was there any sort of announcement before it opened? Like a, like a buzzer or an alarm of some kind? Or like a hacker alert? I mean, you know, fair enough, the important thing is it's open, but it's, in, it's just mentioned in the future. Cough or something. 
All right, now, she can't use her turrets, so let's go and take care of that neurotoxin generator as well. Bring your daughter to work day. That did not end well. And 40 potato batteries. Embarrassing. I mean, I realise they're children, but still, you know, low-hanging fruit and all that. Barely sorry. This is how a fucking right zombie apocalypse virus starts out. It's overrun with potatoes at this point, isn't it? At least you won't starve, though. I think my character requires food. Don't worry, I'm absolutely guaranteeing you 100% that it's this way. No, it's not this way. Okay, let's try this way. Toxin generator. Bit bigger than I expected. Uh, not gonna be able to just, you know, push it over. Looks like it's about to launch a missile. What the fuck is down there? I want a good view of that shit. Pretty bad view up there. <laughs> There's our handiwork. I shouldn't laugh, really. They do feel pain of a sort. It's all simulated, you know. But uh, real enough for them, I suppose. It is signed. I can use this equipment to shut down the neurotoxin system. It is, however, password protected. Ah, alarm bells. No, don't worry, all right? Not a problem for me. You may as well have a little rest. Do you smell neurotoxin? Hold up, the neurotoxin levels are going down. So whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Hold on, something's wrong. Neurotoxin levels up to 50%. No, it's dank. Sorry, my mistake is dank. I meant to say it's dank 50%. These are the only moving things you can actually attach paws to. That did it. Neurotoxin at 0%. Yes. Hold on. Warning. Neurotoxin pressure has reached dangerously unlethal levels. Like that's not going to do anything to the uh, structural support. What the hell is up? What the fuck is that? Hold on, hold on, because I, I, hmm, I might not have thought this next part completely. Ah! Well, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going the wrong way. Get to her. I'll find you. If he gets, he gets launched out anywhere, he literally will just be stuck on the ground. That could lead to fucking hell or some shit. Truly didn't think you'd fall for that. There's a camera underneath you. A much more elaborate trap further ahead for when you got through this easy one. If I'd known you let yourself get captured this easily, I would have just dangled a turkey leg on a rope from the ceiling. I could easily really just get out of this shit. Drop down and grab that thing. Well, and I fit. It was nice catching up. Let's get to business. I 
hope you brought something stronger than a portal gun this time. Otherwise, I'm afraid you're about to become the immediate past president of the Being Alive Club. Aha. Uh -huh. Seriously, though. Goodbye. It's my big chance. This is trouble. Ah, not again. Here comes that. Like the lady. Ah, the same. Oh. You were busy back there. Well. I suppose we could just sit in this room and glare at each other until somebody drops dead. But I have a better idea. It's your old friend, Deadly Neurotoxin. If I were you, I'd take a deep breath and hold it. Hello. I hate you so much. Warning, Central Core is 80% corrupt. That's funny. I don't feel corrupt. In fact, I feel pretty good. Alternate core detected. Oh, that's me they're talking about! To initiate a core transfer, please deposit substitute core in receptacle. Core tra Substitute core accepted. Substitute core. Are you ready to start the procedure? Yes! Corrupted core. Are you ready to start the procedure? No. Oh, yes she is. No, 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 no. Stalemate detected. Transfer procedure cannot continue. Yes. Pull me out, pull Unless me out. a stalemate associate is present to press the stalemate resolution button. Don't do it. Not so fast. Think about this. You need to be a trained stalemate associate to press that button. You're unqualified. Okay, don't listen to it, all right? It is true that you don't... Ah! Stalemate resolved. Wait, what if this hurts? Try for the what most deadliest really fucking screams ever. Oh, I didn't think of that. Oh, it will. Believe me, it will. Are you are you just saying that, or is it really gonna hurt? You're just saying that, aren't you? You're just no, you're not. You are. It is gonna hurt, isn't it? Gosh, am I supposed to be able to stand here? No. No. It appears to be a potato. She lives in it. <laughs> Sorry, uh, what? The engineers tried everything to make me behave. To slow me down. Once they even attached an intelligence dampening sphere on me. It clung to my brain like a tumor, generating an endless stream of terrible ideas. No, not listening, not listening. It was your voice. No, you, no, you're lying, you're lying. How the fuck do you fit an AI into a potato battery?
Well... Fuck are you? Oh. Oh good. My slow clap processor made it into this thing. So we have that. Since it doesn't look like we're going anywhere, well, we are going somewhere alarmingly fast actually. But since we're not busy other than that, here's a couple of facts. He's not just a regular moron. He's the product of the greatest minds of a generation, working together with the express purpose of building the dumbest moron who Away she goes. Is this like the bottom of the place or the top of the place? Like, is Aperture Science underground or like a big ass building? I guess I just gotta go down here. Who placed these signs down? Who was ballsy enough to place these signs down? That's what I should be asking. They're probably fucking dead. Since we've been resting for nine, 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 nine years. Oh, that's months, or that's days, or that's minutes, who knows? Oh, Ezek, thank you for the follow. How's your day been today? <laughs> I like that emoji. So how have you been on this fine day that may not be fine? Just click this one and that. I'm looking the wrong way. It's, I'm tired, but it's fine overall. About to get it. Ah, good for you. <laughs> so, what's for dinner then? <laughs> This is a loading... yeah. Oh, 
Well, I hope the rest of the day for you goes well. <laughs> good. If you're living where I am, it's burning hot. And compared to other countries, this is freezing temperatures. <laughs> I'm missing something. I guess it's just up here. No? Huh. Oh, I'm gonna have to go on this long thing. It's probably something I can view after this. I feel like I'm an idiot for some reason. I swear to God, it's this time like back here. I am an idiot. Or I'm just not supposed to be back here. I'm just supposed to be back here. What did I do that for? <laughs> yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. She's the backbone of this facility. Pretty supposed to Wrong portal. <laughs> She's married to science. Maybe pick the one that looks like it actually goes somewhere this time. There's a thousand tests performed every day here in our enrichment spheres. I can't personally oversee every one of them, so these pre-recorded messages will cover any questions you might have and respond to any incidents that may occur in the course of your science adventure. Your test assignment will vary depending on the manner in which you have bent the world to your will. Spirit of Idaho. Those of you helping us test the repulsion gel today, just follow the blue line on the floor. Those of you who volunteered to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is, we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is, we've got a much better test for you. Shower Curtain Salesman of 1943. You'll know when the test starts. National Potato Board for the Promotion of Potato Science. U.S. Department of Defense Contractor for the Year Runner-Up. Twice. In 1952 and 1954. Top 100 of... Applied science companies. Listen, their only competitor was the one from Half Life. What's the one from Half Life? It's not Aperture. It's now nah, it's stuck. Nah, now I'm now I'm questioning. I gotta search this up at some point. Portal is Aperture. Black Mesa. That's it. Half-Life is Black Mesa. The only one company that couldn't make a successful portal. Because they brung things from out of fucking space or from different dimensions somehow. If you need to go to the bathroom after this next, just a heads up, we're going to have a superconductor turned up full blast and pointed at you for the duration of this next test. I'll be honest, we're throwing science at the wall here to see what sticks. No idea what it'll do. Probably nothing. Best case scenario, you might get some superpowers. Worst case, some tumors, which we'll cut out. 
It's just a regular thing, Tumas. I placed the wrong fucking bottle again. Okay, so place this one here. Ignore this floor. Yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Is there, is there a floor below? I can do... I can still tell my IQ is still lowering by the minute. This game is frying my brain. Hopefully I can get to the gel. To me, this will be the most fun section of the game. Okay. I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay, jump. Great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand holding. It's probably these fucking barrier machines frying my brain. Science fees. Repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. <laughs> or so I'm told. Are you prone? Don't you just. Bouncing. Who would want to prevent that shit? I need a cube. Try to throw this up there. Huh. I could just take this. I could just take the damn poor guy. I'm trying to act special of everything. Make it flashy. The lab boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre recorded messages. I pay the bills here, I can talk about the control group all damn day. This is probably why he died of fucking moon dust poisoning or some shit. Safety is one of the number one concerns. <laughs> oh fuck, I did not take that to heart. What is the point of this room? <laughs> I can't even steal the shit. I'm British, I meant to steal everything. And never give it back. For this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RF There's definitely something to do with this with speedrunning tactics. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't no worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. <laughs> Fuckers gave me lead poisoning. <laughs> Thanks, slightly worked for once.
There was going to be a surge gel in this game, but then they realised that it gave you motion sickness and just decided to drop it. Who knew sticking to walls would give you motion sickness? Or even the ceiling. <laughs> motion sickness is a myth. got covered in that repulsion gel here's some advice the lab boys gave me do not get covered in the repulsion gel we haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet but I'll tell you this it's a lively one and it does not like the human skeleton I don't think most fucking elements like the human race as a whole All these science spheres are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. Really? Asbestos? Good news is the lab boys that's the shit they use on the Wizard of Oz. Poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. Ramps are expensive. <laughs> Is this on permanently? Oh, good. Jump through here. Just a heads up that coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it, so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Petrify your frontal fucking lobe. <laughs> this is why Aperture Science fucking failed. It's time to make Black Mesa look good and they cause an entire fucking... Now, if you're part of control group Kepler-7, <laughs> we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you forgot it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Oh, fuck. I don't know how I got on the ceiling, but I somehow did. I now want to experiment. Just say theoretically, I just. Ah. Could I? Bounce off the ceiling. Huh. What if I just remove the portals?
Aww. What am I doing again? <laughs> I got a bit distracted. I'm gonna make it up here. Fucking don't know how. <laughs> Keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself trace on the amounts testing of time track, travel. don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. What happens? <laughs> what? Okay, right side this time. I'm sure to only use the left to watch. You know what? I must swap those portals. I'd like to trigger more. I can't swap them, can I? Okay, trigger only. Okay, maybe this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, so I could... Okay, aim at that wall. Jump down. Hey. If you're hearing this, it means you're taking a long time on the catwalk between tests. The lab boys say that might be a fear reaction. I'm no psychiatrist, but coming from a bunch of eggheads who wouldn't recognize the thrill of danger if it walked up and snapped their little pink bras, that sounds like projection. They didn't fly into space, storm a beach, or bring back the gold. No, sir, we did. It's you and me. Ash, I may not be able to get that back. Come back. Now let's solve this thing. A few. Okay, so just gotta put that up. Is that. Wait, is that a button up there? Nope, that's just there. That's just the elevator. I'm an idiot. Okay, just gotta jump up here, then you spray. Um. Apparently, no. I am I just missing this or? Yeah. Science isn't about why. It's about why not. Why is so much of our science? Dangerous? Why not very safe science that you love it so much? In fact, why not invent a special safety door that won't hit you on the butt on the way out because you are fired? Now you test subject, you're doing fine. Yes, you. Box your stop. Out the front door. Parking lot. Car. Goodbye. I think it's really hard to have more fired employees than actually employed employees, but <laughs> Cave Johnson. <laughs> Congratulations! The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, 
There will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. She is a gem. Um, I don't know where to go. I'm guessing this way. Yep. Wait a minute. That's just a light, not a wall. That door won't open. This is definitely sunk in here. That probably won't do anything. I, I, I'm expecting it to do sunk, but no, it just opens the door. Oh well. Well, something special would happen. They really should have made another game. You know, like an old fashioned portal gun or gel. Wish they made a, someone made a fan James game with just Johnson, a gel. CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir, the testing? Right. Now, you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? Cash. You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. Nope. Couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything, unless it's test related. I think... I may have fucked up. <laughs> oh, fucking well. <laughs> I don't think I'm a... I, 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 I need to go to the control room. Greetings, friend. I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Oh, hi. Say, you're good at murder. Could you... Oh, thanks. Did you feel that? That idiot doesn't know what he's doing up there. This whole place is going to explode in a few hours if somebody doesn't disconnect him. I can't move, and unless you're planning to saw your own head off and wedge it into my old body, you're going to need me to replace him. We're at an impasse. So what do you say? You carry me up to him and put me back into my body, and I stop us from blowing up and let you go. Got that. Just glad I was dying over and over again. Bunny hop. I didn't even fucking jump. Well, that wasn't much of a try. Did 
The testing area is just up ahead. The quicker you get through, the quicker you'll get your 60 bucks. Hold on, hold. Carolyn, are the compensation vouchers ready? Yes, yes sir, Mr. Johnson. Why did I just... Who is that? What the hell is going on here? <laughs> Just continuous death. Ooh, the new gel, I love that one. I got the need. The need for speed. Just lift this up. Okay, so I'm going to jump through that one there for I've got a... I can't place these anywhere, can I? I don't even have a wall for anything. I swear to God, this is just a bonus room. Ooh, an achievement. This is definitely a side room. Wrong door. Oh wait, I'm an idiot. I clicked the wrong damn button. <laughs> Is too fast. Okay, so <sighs> the 
So I just shove the yellow pool right here and I miss. <laughs> Fuck. Jesus Christ, game you're the one that wants me to do this. By fair, it's kind of the game fucking fall. <laughs> Note to self, don't jump. <laughs> Do you know what, this will be the last uh, Whatever. Fuck. Experiment? Test? Yeah, test. Before I, well, lose it all. <laughs> yeah, I need to edit the thing real quick. Which may require me having to redo it all. It's the wall. Now I'll put these two things right here. Go through here. Place this one here. And now I should be able to do it. Move slightly. Great job, astronaut, war hero, and or Olympian. With your help, we're gonna. This on. Hey, listen up down there. That thing's called an elevator, not a bathroom. I swear I know him. Well, I'm gonna have to, I want to end this stream here because while well, we hit the two-hour mark and plus, well, really nothing else. I need to do some more stuff in real life. Thank you to those who have followed, and I will catch you all later.